Hi guys, Chris from Magic and Music, how are you guys doing? Before I start this video, I just want to remind you that on my Spotify, I have three of my songs that you can check out. If you look at here, you type Angel Kane on Spotify, you've got three of my songs you can check out. Abigail, it seems to be uh, the favorite one. And the same thing on my YouTube channel, you can check out the playlist called Angel Kane Music. And you got my three first music videos. And feel free to leave some comments under these videos, and I would be very grateful. Today, I am of course reacting to the videos that many of you wrote about yesterday on many different videos I made and commented. You know that on this channel, I love high notes and I love um, like crazy insane vocalist. And I've just done a video uh, right now uh, before doing this one about an absolutely insane vocalist called Deden Gonzalez that many proposed me as well doing some crazy stuff with his voice. And here uh, is another video about Dimash and, and the reason being, and the last video actually I made, I actually loved the song. Uh, the chorus of that song, can't remember the title of it, I think it was Yasmin maybe, with that animated character. At the end of the song, the end of the chorus was absolutely fantastic. You can check out that video, I think it would be right here if I leave something. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out, it's absolutely an amazing song. Today it's a song called your love the title is probably actually i don't know if it's gonna be in english or in russian but anyway without any further ado let's check out that new performance and uh drop down actually on the original um uh dimash uh youtube channel that still has that hasn't reached yet the million fans which is very bizarre because his any videos that he makes then gets millions of reaction and stuff of like this but fans are not coming to this YouTube channel for some reason. But anyway, without any further ado, let's check this out. All right, let's do it. TV show. She's performing everywhere. Many TV shows though, I think, for the most part. Yeah, many, many TV shows. Just checking out who's who wrote the song. It's in English. Seems to be a live show, uh, it's got his ear monitor on, but then as we already said many times, we don't know what the TV show is doing after, do they correct the vocals or not? But it uh, doesn't matter, it still, still sang live anyway. I think I've seen this pianist before with him. I've this I've said I've said this so many times, but uh, I think that that's definitely the register he uses for most of this of songs introductions, like not not an operatic one, not a high notes, but that pop sort of uh, register, and then uh, it's coming back to it every time. I think every beginning of the song, you know, but I guess everybody is expecting the high notes at the end, you know, everybody kind of waits for that. Kind of reminds me of a scorpion style of song a little bit. Definitely a Dimash song now. Yeah, but the lyrics and the, the music reminded me real of scorpions.
That's really the vocals that is. Everything is so clean. Of course, had to be. And it goes higher and higher. Taking by the song, couldn't say much during that performance. So yeah, of course, uh, it's hard to comment on on the vocals. Um, what haven't we said already? But what I really regret is when I just because um, all these arrangements and these songs is doing uh, uh, most of the time. I just it's just um, how can you, would you call that? In France, I would call this variété and uh, variété française. And in, in English, I don't know how you call that. Uh, it's not pop, it's just uh, fits for TV shows, this type of arrangement. Me, I can't stop imagining, like, not necessary, like a heavy band behind, you know, with some big guitars. Not necessary, but um, like an arrangement that would have more character a bit than just all these orchestras and stuff like this, that is just not. Um, a nowadays music it doesn't have music hasn't got a, any personality behind but that's just just my take on it and which is a shame because it's such an amazing um, um, a vocalist that a, like music with more character behind would just give so would just give justice to his voice because uh, you know you would, I think it's very important in music to do a balance between uh, if the singer has is throwing a bit of operatic type of singing sometimes during the song you don't necessarily have to have an orchestra behind you know you can just balance it with just doing some bringing some more guitar some more rock to it or something completely different you know than just sticking to the pure classic and uh, music. I don't, I don't believe that the pianist was actually playing behind. Uh, I think it's more like a playback type of, type of um, uh, at least not. The track music is on the, the music is recorded but he did sing live the songs for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's just what I'm gonna take out of this, you know. Uh, vocally, it's just, it's just, it's all there. It's all what he already did. It's uh, the type of Dimash we love. It's just uh, starting slowly, just bringing this crazy high notes that only only him really knows the secret. Because um, a lot of singers can can sing high, but the control and this high long note, they're so clean. There's nothing, nothing. Just like 
there's no distortion or some some crack or nothing it's just clean totally i really wonder how the waveform like the signal like this would look like on a dimash voice which be just like really clean and and that's very unique in a way me i love distortion in a voice uh at least at some accents which which i'd never hear with him basically but he's got a completely different style so it's not it's not that for that song you wouldn't bring distortion obviously but what i would take away from this beautiful song of course great interpretation most of it not my type of music i ain't gonna lie but the interpretation is just it's mind-blowing i way preferred the song that i reacted on before which i think it's called Yasmin, with the animated character the song was the one thousand times better for me you might love this song it's, this this is music you know music is for everybody uh, the, the song before had more character, like the, the chorus was greater, I think, it was more catchy, even though it was in Chinese, like I don't even understand Chinese and here it's, it's in English. So just to tell you that the, the importance of the writing of the song is key. And um, here what is lacking to me is um, the orchestration and overall arrangement to the song, but that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I shall see you on the next video. Chris from Magic Music, signing out. Cheers. Cool.